pack your bags because we're taking a trip to Paris. Hey guys, it's Indriana and today we are going to be looking into and exploring this new Paris World mod which is a collaboration between two amazing creators in the Sims 4 community. So let's dive in to the details of this fabulous mod. So this mod was created by Le jo, I think, or Leia or Lei. I think that is the creator's name. Please correct me if I'm wrong and you know how to pronounce this creator's name. So it's a collaboration between Lejo and BabyGal123. And this mod transforms Brightchester from the Discover University world that we know basically into a breathtaking Paris inspired world. And ultimately it transports your Sims to the heart of Paris from, you know, the iconic Eiffel Tower to really cute and quaint cobblestone streets. In this video, we'll explore all the features that make this mod a must have for any simmer, dreaming of friends, or desiring to basically spice up your game, incorporate some new gameplay ideas, and just give the world of Brightchester a refresh. So first off, this mod has some insanely beautiful street decor from Parisian style buildings to cozy cafes with outdoor seats. Eating, every corner exudes the essence of Parisian charm. Plus, these iconic Morris columns showcasing beautiful ads designed by BabyGal123. It feels like a very authentic touch to the scenery. And another great feature about this mod is the gameplay opportunities that it adds. It's really not just a pretty backdrop. As the Joe wrote in their Patreon post, this collab created a unique experience that goes beyond just an aesthetic backdrop. So in just the download of the mod itself, the Joe created a functional perfumery, which is so amazing. And this comes with four different scents and custom buffs so your sims can indulge in the luxury of fine fragrances while exploring the streets of this newly created paris inspired world and i just love that it's incorporated into the world of you know brightchester as we know it and this reminds me of and like makes me think of the street shops that we have in tartosa like the cake shop and generally this is i feel like just super creative and i love that it creates a gameplay opportunity for us and our sims and not only did the show at a perfumery but who can resist the temptation of french pastries because I love croissants, I love macaroons. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry thinking about it. But this creator also included a functional patisserie and the functional patisserie offers a delightful selection of macaroons and petit gâteau for your Sims to enjoy and buy as well. And there are plans to expand the menu in future updates so i think that's very cool as well that there could be um, more updates to this mod and more things can be added i love that there's different gameplay elements to the mod generally and new things were added to the world and in addition to the features i just listed there is more because le jo has also given the foxberry campus a makeover to match the charm of this new world so foxberry has a very sleek modern look however it has been transformed to a more traditional university setting complete with parisian inspired architecture which i think is great and just to give you guys a comparison here is a before picture of what brightchester looked like and here is an after picture of what this new parisian inspired world looks like now beyond the main features of this mod that I mentioned. This mod also includes Parisian inspired custom content that you can use to decorate your own builds and I will show you guys how to download this mod but I just wanted to note that it is important to keep the installation notes in mind and make sure that you follow and read those instructions carefully to ensure everything is downloaded and run smoothly when you put this in your game and so as i mentioned the Joe made the main mod the collaboration comes in with baby gal one two three as she made three different lots which is amazing three different lots to fit this new paris inspired world and all of these different lots come as a separate download so you will have to go to baby gal one two three's 
Patreon page, which I will link everything in the description box down below, but you will have to go to her page in order to download these three beautiful lots. So starting with lot number one, this is the La Tour Eiffel by Baby Got One Two Three and Le Jo. So this is the first of three builds within this collaboration. And um, Baby Gal basically mentioned in her Patreon post that she wanted the Eiffel Tower to be a landmark to visit somewhere romantic and pretty. So the lot is a cafe lot and is located in the center of Paris slash, you know, Brightchester. And Baby Gal made it a cafe so there'd be a barista to tend the mini cafe on the lot. And there's also also a small like souvenir store which I thought was very cool and it was of course inspired by the actual landmark here so I just think that it's really of course if you're creating a Paris inspired world you have to have the Eiffel Tower so as you can see I'm just giving you guys an aerial view but another one of the main features was these morris columns as you can see i think baby gal designed these ads as well and i feel like they add a lot of authenticity to this paris inspired world as you can see here we have an ad for a perfume here which i think is very fitting because yeah we have the perfumery as well which i will show you in a little bit is what i mentioned i'll show you a bit of the gameplay but yeah it's this used to be this lot used to be a library and as you can see everything here has just changed these used to be orange it used to be like a like a burnt orangey type color but now it's all like white and super aesthetic i love how aesthetic this world is as you can see I have my sim self here, Drea Thompson. And yeah, Drea is here in Paris, in this Paris inspired world. And we're gonna be using my sim self today to explore the different features of this mod. So starting with the cafe that we get on this lot, I do wanna note that when I first downloaded and put this lot in here, I did have to move the, the barista bar here in this cafe more towards the, the right side from where we're looking at it because there was a little bit of like functionality issues so if you do run across that just know that you just have to rearrange like this barista bar here and it will work so i just wanted to point that out in case any of you guys when you download this and put it in your game have any issues but yeah your sim can come here and order a coffee and order food or whatever just like regular cafe in the sims 4 and just you know sit down and relax and um yeah so there's a cafe on one side there's more of like a park area over here with a fountain like multiple fountains and seating and seating areas with different benches the morris columns that i mentioned before with all the different ads in the back there and of course the main uh, landmark here which is the eiffel tower and then just across over there which we will explore in a little bit too is the souvenir shop i don't think it's functional but it's a very cute idea to have here you can see there is seating over here as well this is more of like a brighter design for the outside of the souvenir shop versus the cafe which is has like black brick on the outside and um, white seating here too so if we go in the shop i'm not sure if it's functional but it does have like a register here there's some perfumes which look very cute it just looks very aesthetic and just very minimal and put together which i like so your sims can come here and ideally buy some perfume and different souvenirs in this shop so that's pretty cool and this lot is set up as a cafe i don't think it's necessarily functional but we can have our sim come here and wear the perfume and view these things view these other like souvenirs as well and actually when you have your sim well let's see if we click on wear perfume she actually just sprays it on herself from afar your sim also gets a buff so this is melancholy scent for my sim drea here and another good gameplay idea i felt like would be for your sim to you know take a selfie with the eiffel tower so this little camera right here is a piece of cc created by ravishine and it basically allows you to take a photo of your sim without having anyone else take the photo which i think is great you can use the selfie feature on your sims phone to take a photo with your sim and the eiffel tower or you can also download this mod i will leave it linked in the description and use it to take a photo of your sim and their friends or whoever in front of the eiffel tower which i think would be a cool idea just have your sim pose in front of the camera elevate the camera up to the height where you want your sim make sure the camera is far back enough to capture as much of the picture that you wanted to capture and then when you're ready you basically click on the camera 
camera and click take photo as you can see here my sim is posed i'll zoom out a bit oh that's perfect like this is probably not the best pose but here we go i'm not getting the full eiffel tower but that is fine and as you can see there's little streaks on my eiffel tower but that is because of my reshade preset so it might not look the same in your game but yeah so here you go we could take a few photos and they'll be super high quality with this um, mod slash CC as well. See, I can zoom all the way out too and that's perfect. So that's another idea for you guys as well to do. And then once you take that photo, it will show up here in your Sims inventory. Besides the other features that I just showed you guys, as I mentioned before, the main download of the mod also comes with two stores. As you guys can see, I can click on the perfumery and I love the different colors, the green and the um, black, the sleek black color here. But from the perfumery, you can purchase, you have have the Paris perfume. It's an alluring scent. Rose, Santel, mahogany, a romantic and seductive scent. It's a functional perfume and it's 555 simoleons. All of them are 555 simoleons. Um, there's four different choices here and this one is an invigorating scent. It's bergamot, yuzu, white tea, orange blossom, a refreshing blend of citrus and floral, and then this other one is melancholy scent there's something familiar about this scent and then the last one is signature scent it has notes of santel amber um, cedar it's a warm unisex scent so i'm gonna have her go with the alluring scent and get a bottle of that and as you can see your sims don't need to go all the way over there to purchase it um you can just click on it and they'll purchase it from wherever they are as i was mentioning before um it's just really sad the patisserie is it just doesn't seem to be working in my game i don't know if it's just me so i apologize for that it might just be my game and how i downloaded it but um as you can see it's not clickable like the perfumery for some reason but anywho i'm gonna have drea try out the perfume she just got so i'm gonna have her wear perfume as you can see she's able to spray it on herself which is really cool and i'm pretty sure she'll be getting a buff from that as well yeah so from that specific alluring scent we get a flirty plus one buff so this scent is warm evocative and undeniably sexy so i love that i have just showcased you guys this first lot that you get created by baby god one two three and just all the main features of the world that were added so as you can see um this is the aerial view of the main square this used to be the library but this was replaced here by this landmark here which is the eiffel tower and i'll just take this opportunity to show you guys again just like how much uh, lejo has changed the environment of brightchester so as you can see it's much more sleek the buildings are all like more like a white and black color scheme um, which is pretty cool and you can see that throughout the whole like entirety of brightchester it has changed all the little homes and such even the like buildings or townhomes surrounding um the main square here with the eiffel tower you can see that the chairs and the tables were replaced to a more like sleek looking style versus like the other like i guess orangey brown toned uh, chairs and tables that we got before and you can see that throughout the environment of brightchester here which is really cool i love the attention to detail that uh, this creator placed when recreating this world and adding different things to it even this area here uh, towards the back that was all changed and i love that it's cohesive and uh, all of those aspects were thought of when creating this mod this next build is the second build of baby gal and lejo's paris collab and for this build it's called the la bijouterie sorry my french is awful but it's basically a jewelry store and baby gal wanted to build somewhere that your sims could go and splurge on jewels so that is amazing we don't have anything like that in the game i know that the sims team just came out with like a stuff pack based on jewelry 
which I thought was like very funny. It's like, what a coincidence, you know what I mean? This lot also has an apartment up top, but they have two apartments up top, which is really cool. So you can have your Sims live in the apartments up top if you own the retail space. And this is a retail lot due to the items being locked behind the little glass boxes. Uh, Baby Gal was unable to actually make them purchasable, but if you want your sims to purchase something here there are items at the register that you can purchase so please just keep that in mind and this creator did try to assign some uniforms for the people working here this build here was inspired by a dior store in paris and this lot here contains cc from felix andre harry lejo and lila creative and as well joyce's fox so when looking through the cc between all of these lots that you know you would download to be included with this mod honestly it's from a few cc creators so it's not like you have to download a whole bunch of cc so just keep that in mind too i know that some of you may not be keen on downloading like a long list of cc but this truly doesn't have that much cc which i love and yeah so if any of you were wondering it's not that extensive so i feel like that'd be perfect for any of you out there who may not want to download a long long list of cc so it's perfect for that on the outside here i love the design again all the designs of all the lots that are incorporated in this world that are meant to be are just very sleek they match you know the overall world the recreation of this world too it just fits right in they have little signs here i just love how realistic it is again we have like these little morris columns all around this world filled with like ads and as you can see here there's another one here for perfume but yeah i love that they have big open windows and even towards here you have like a display of all the jewelry so it feel like it's very realistic it's what you would see in a real jewelry store like on the outside when you pass by it entices you to come in and buy some really beautiful jewelry and then on the outside towards the left of the jewelry store again we have this morris column here with an ad for the jewelry store here for like a ring i think it's just so creative to incorporate all these realistic elements to this mod and then towards the left of the store we have another display here of the jewelry and we have the entrance that leads up to the two apartments which i will show you guys in a bit so this is the entrance to the jewelry store and coming through the main door it's so beautiful in here we have different display cases which is what i read from the description your sims wouldn't be able to buy anything um, in these display cases necessarily but the cc in this is just so amazing it's absolutely beautiful um, as you can see we have some earrings here some necklaces watches in this display case so you can use this for like storytelling you know your sims could come here and buy a wedding ring and you know get engaged in paris or something or have your sims go on a girl shopping trip or something like that so i'm getting a lot of gameplay ideas as i go through all of these different lots myself as well there's different necklaces here just a bunch of different um cc jewelry items in these different display cases and as you can see here there are rings here as well so yeah you could definitely have like an engaged couple come here and look at rings and all of that and besides the jewelry the front of the store there's also a little like back section of the jewelry store as well and if you go through these double doors there's like a little section here i guess for the employees or something but here's like a desk the laptop and some chairs back here there's also like a bathroom through these other double doors over here just like a simple cute little bathroom and then i think yeah these are for the employees because there's lockers here and like a back entrance door as well as a like cappuccino like espresso machine coffee maker back here too so i thought that was a really nice like cool touch as well to incorporate that in this build and then for the layout of the two apartments up top of the jewelry store thought it would be easier to show you guys in build mode so i could show you guys like the whole floor plan and layout i love that this already has a floor plan so you don't even need to think about it you can literally just decorate this build and um, have your sims live in it so you don't have to worry and think about like creating a floor plan and oh where to where would i put this room or that room you literally just have to decorate it so as you can see there's two doors here that lead to the two separate apartments 
there is a set of stairs here and the door to a little balcony that leads out here and there's a little furniture there's a little desk at the front here so there's two double doors that lead to this apartment and there's double doors that lead to the other apartment so this one looks like a smaller apartment over here i guess it would be a studio apartment so you can have your living space slash living room space here you would have like a kitchen towards the right and like a bathroom towards the left or at least that's how i would do it and then for the second apartment i feel like it's a, it's a bit larger so you would have you would have the living room space here and the kitchen like an open kitchen plan the bathroom over here and then the bedroom over here and i love how like there's a fire escape here i feel like that's very realistic as well so yeah you can literally just off the bat have your sims move in here decorate the space all of that and i just feel like i love how the different builds in in this collaboration came with multi-use to add different gameplay functions i want to know what you guys think of me possibly doing a little sim self diaries or like a little mini series of like an episode or two of my sim self like exploring this mod and creating a backstory and just exploring all of the gameplay opportunities with this mod because i'm kind of feeling it i would love to start a little mini series with my sim self and have you guys like get to know me a little bit more maybe if you're interested in that so yeah just let me know in the comments down below let me know how you're feeling about this mod i think it's absolutely beautiful and i love all that it comes with i love when creators in our community collab with one another and use you know other people's cc as well because i feel like it just lifts everybody up in our community and um, everyone's able to thrive and get to know different creators from collaborations like this and i just can't wait to decorate these apartments and play with them myself so let me know what you guys think about my potential idea of creating a little sim self diaries with this mod let me know what you guys think of this mod and let me know if you're gonna download it and play with it yourself and give me a review on what you think of it as well so the third and final build of the paris collaboration is this cafe here which baby gal named it cafe de rue and for this cafe this creator really wanted to capture the vibe of street cafes in paris but still wanted to keep it in her own style as you can see it's absolutely beautiful i love the use of flowers it looks very minimal very soft very floral again we have the use of the morris column here with an ad here which looks really good and it very much fits into this paris inspired world um yeah this is just absolutely gorgeous and i can definitely see a lot of your sims you know coming here for coffee and you guys taking some really nice aesthetic photos here too i know i definitely have already and i absolutely love it and so just wait until i show you guys the inside but just wanted to mention the other cc that was used for this build which is listed in baby gal's patreon post which is felix andre of course and harry as well as lejo's own cc and joyce's fox all amazing cc creators so please keep in mind that obviously all of this has its own cc for you to download and use so we have the main cafe um, downstairs but baby gal also included one apartment at the top of the cafe which i will show you guys in a little bit but you can have your sims live here it is an empty lot upstairs so you can decorate it how you like so that's great that you could do this for gameplay and storytelling you know have your sim live upstairs at the top of a nice cafe so you could definitely incorporate this into gameplay to spice up your game so i'm going to give you guys a brief tour as you can see there is seating over here lots of nice seating black color scheme is like black and white i love the use of these uh, chairs here it looks very much like the Paris cafes I would see on Pinterest. And there's more seating over here too. If you come around towards the other side of this building, you can see that this is the entrance to the apartment. And then going into the cafe here, it is absolutely gorgeous in here. There is like a huge, I guess, gallery wall of art and um, some mirrors too, which is very beautiful. It's pretty, it's very elegant. It has a very soft, cozy vibe to it, which is perfect for your Sims to come here 
relax, do schoolwork, come here, relax, grab a cup of coffee, a croissant. And this is, you know, as I came in earlier, this is the front entrance here. I love the use of the curtains, big open windows, very much matches the uh, French uh, Paris like aesthetic looks very bougie very rich so my sim is currently over here um, but yeah and this is the barista bar over here I love the decorations and everything now coming through the entrance that I showed you guys previously these are the stairs that lead to the apartment on the top of the cafe there's a cute little art piece on the wall here and a space here for your sims to grab their mail so this is the second floor once you come up the flight of stairs that lead to the apartment you're met with some really nice decor there's a little desk and an art piece here i love that they like if your sims live here they will have like the best view as you can see of like the rest of brightchester or this paris inspired world here it's beautiful it's a beautiful place to like place an apartment because they get to see the water and everything and then if we go through these double doors here it leads to like the main entrance of the apartment if i were to imagine how i would decorate this and i probably will later on i will put a living room here maybe a light kitchen over here i think i love that like the layout is already here and the floor plans already here so you don't have to think that much about it you can just decorate it because i know i'm more of a decorator so if that is what you're in to as well you know you don't have to create a floor plan for this you can just decorate it this download of this mod also includes some paris slash french inspired cc so you can use that as well to fill up uh, this apartment here so and then here we have what i would feel like could be a bedroom perhaps could be a bedroom and then there's another room here that could be yeah the bathroom so that's perfect it's like a small apartment and um yeah so everything's all like laid out for you already so i love that and i just want to show you guys the floor plan so as i mentioned the stairs are over here you come through these doors you could have the kitchen here you could have a living room here bedroom and the bathroom yeah so everything is pretty much laid out all you have to do is decorate it which is perfect. So I know that installing mods can be a little tricky, but don't worry, I got you guys. And so I'll walk you through the process step by step. It's super easy, but always remember to back up your game files before installing new mods. So first you're going to download this mod directly from Lejo's Patreon page, and you're going to download all of the tray files and CC that you need from BabyGal123's Patreon page as well. And all the CC that you need for each build will be listed in the description of baby gal's patreon page but as i said i'll walk you through the installation process so this mod the main mod by lejo has two components that need to be installed into different locations so as you can see i have the paris world mod zip file open here and if you're on a mac there's going to be a mac file here with all the folders and cc that you need but since i'm on a pc i'll just use this paris world mod folder here so it opened the folder so we have an areas folder and we have the paris world cc folder i didn't say anything about using this file in the patreon post so i just focused on these two folders here so the paris world cc folder is simple and easy you have all the cc needed for this mod in here you're going to take this paris world cc folder here and with your mods folder open you're literally just going to drag and drop this into your mods folder i obviously already have it in here now for this areas folder here the process is different for mac but in the patreon post there are instructions on how to get to the specific folder that you need to place these area files in so for mac please refer to the patreon post by lejo so on pc it's super simple all you're going to want to do for the areas folder here is to go to on your pc this pc local disk c program files ea games the sims 4 delta ep08 which stands for expansion pack 8 which is discover university as we know worlds now this folder here you want to make sure you make a backup so what i would do is copy this and paste this somewhere on your desktop or store it on an external hard drive or usb or something if you forget to back up those files you can just repair the game in the ea app so there's no worries about that but just make sure 
that you um, back it up for safety reasons then here is where you're going to want to paste or drag and drop all the area files that come with the mod download so you're going to open this areas folder here copy or highlight these area files here the dot world files and you're going to drag and drop them and you're going to want to hit replace files in destination to my knowledge i don't think you want to delete the original files here and then um, place in these new files you're going to want to replace the files as i think it does something weird to the game so just keep that in mind and i already have that done so i don't need to do this but once you do that and you place the paris world cc files in your mods folder the next time you open your game you should be able to see this new paris world in your game i just wanted to note that although i'm showing you how to do this please always refer to the creator for any questions you may have for the detailed instructions or any warnings now for the three lots that baby gal 123 created for this world for this collaboration you're going to want to go to baby gal's patreon which i will link in the description and you're going to want to download the eiffel tower lot the cafe lot as well as the jewelry lot so you're going to click these zip files and download them here and i'm just going to show you one example this is for the cafe but as you can see once you open the folder that you downloaded for each lot it's going to have some tray files so to install these tray files you're going to want to go to this pc documents electronic arts the sims 4 tray and you're going to want to either copy and paste or i just drag and drop those in there and that's basically it so you're going to do that with every single lot it says replace there but i already put those files in my game so that's basically it you're going to do that for every single lot and then you're basically good to go to launch your game you'll have the paris world mod downloaded with all the cc and the area files that we replaced place and you'll have these tray files and the cc that you would have downloaded based on baby gal's patreon um, to make sure that the lots are complete when you open them in your game and make sure when you open your game you have bb.move objects on to make sure that anything placed by the creator will be functional and it will be set up in the way that the creator placed everything a huge thank you to Lejo and Baby Gal123 and all the other talented creators involved in bringing this Parisian paradise to life in The Sims 4. So what are you guys waiting for? Pack your virtual bags and immerse yourself in the beauty of Paris with this amazing mod. I truly do highly recommend it. I feel like it would add so much to your game and give your sims a lot to do, add new storylines and gameplay. So you guys should definitely check it out. All the links will be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know what you guys would like to see next. Let me know if you enjoyed this video and until next time, au revoir. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.